Hey, what's going on everybody? Benjamin here with BJamin Studios. And in this video, we are going to be looking at uh, basic ballistics. So the other first class that I had my first eight weeks at SDI. So to jump right into it, because I'm going to try to keep this video at five minutes like promised. Um, what I didn't uh, say last time about intro to firearms, let me get this pulled up real quick. Uh, first off, they got this really easy app right here called uh well it just says student right here but i mean you have everything right here on your phone access to your grades you can actually do school work on here you can submit i mean so if, if you're not near your computer if you had to in a crunch you could accomplish everything you need to do on your phone it would stink i mean nobody wants to type up a 500 plus word paper on their phone but it uh kind of is what it is at that point all right, so with Intro to Firearms, this is what I didn't mention. I finished Intro to Firearms with a 95.28. And I say that to say, y'all, literally, if you just follow the instructor guidance, the parameters for whatever, you know, it is you're getting graded for, you will do great. You know, you might get dinged a few points as you're kind of getting used to maybe typing papers again. And I said it before, and you're probably going to hear me say that phrase a lot. But I've said it before in another video that you need to get used to the MLA format when it comes to paper writing. If you know how to do that, and there's plenty of online resources to help you with it, there's great examples out there, a lot of good YouTube videos. Um, if you know how to do that, you're going to be golden. Just read uh, the instructor guidance, read that week's, you know, whatever reading, watch whatever videos, and in your own words, write that paper. Write that summary, right? What, whatever it is. So, anyways, intro to firearms. That's what I finished with. Basic ballistics. All right, I finished with a ninety-five point. There we go. Ninety-five point five four. So, once again, y'all, it, it it's really not hard. Now, now, granted, these are the first two classes, right? They're not meant to be very difficult, but still, just apply yourself um, like with other classes basic ballistics had the option to do um, some of the assignments could be a video could be an audio file um, or or could be a paper it, paper is always an option audio and video file is, is not always there so every time I had the audio and, and, and video option I usually made a video there's only a few times I made an audio and that's just because I didn't have I wasn't right here at my computer so um, anyways the last assignment and this is what I want to go over because this kind of encompasses everything you're gonna learn in eight weeks um, I can't give you everything obviously that was on this test that wouldn't be fair to people who have already taken it um, and yeah I don't, I don't I'm pretty sure there's probably something in the in the and in the school that says I can't show you everything anyways but for this one, like I said, it was a sum up of the last eight weeks, and I had to, in my own words, explain what I learned during basic ballistics, what I learned during this class, and then I had to give the definition for trajectory, wind drift, uh, recoil, velocity, and accuracy. All right, so... Once again, like I said, in your in your own words, you're gonna you're gonna read and hear that a lot, but um, can't just be the definition straight out of the book, and you can't quote them all. But sum it up, more or less, in your own words of, of what those things mean, and what you have learned in the last eight weeks. And then after that, basic ballistics was a lot more about not so much ballistics and how a round reacts to a target, because when I hear the word ballistics that's automatically what I think of right we think of the ballistics gel test or the penetration test or whatever um, basic ballistics was more or less more about the actual projectile itself and how to make it and how to kind of reload and work up your own round and your own load not so much how it reacts now that was in there don't get me wrong but um, reloading and making your own projectiles was primarily what it was about so that being said the second part of this test you had to 
uh, how, how, you know, how, how do you build a projectile? How do you work up a load? How do you properly set a primer? And safety precautions that you would want to adhere to while you're doing all this. And kind of just for, uh, for, some, for some laughs, right? For some LOLs. I threw in this picture here that I got off the good old interwebs. Anatomy of a pew. Anyways, I thought it was funny. So, and if for any other reason, you know, it kind of keeps you on track with where to go with this. All right, so we are at five minutes. Basic ballistics did not come with anything um, as far as a package goes. The next class we're going to look at, I believe, is going to be the hydro dip class. You know, the firearms finishes and engravings. So that'll be pretty cool. I can show you what all came with that. All right, y'all. So until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.